what's going on everyone? You know what I find kind of funny? In all my videos, every single one, I always have that same intro. Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, that thing is kind of hilarious. But anyway, what's going on everyone? So, I'm back with another Dive Entrepreneur. I'm excited for what I have coming up on February 26th. It is a Black History Month event I'm uh, doing with Microsoft, talking about marketing. Um, so it's a pretty big deal for me. I'm super excited about it. You know, to partner with a company such as Microsoft and for something as prideful as uh, Black History Month, being a black uh, business owner, entrepreneur, being able to uh, spread the knowledge that I have. So that's definitely something that I'm excited for. Again, I'm driving, which is, I'm sure you guys are used to this by now. Uh, what else is going on? Our uh, business is still booming, luckily, uh, and sometimes that's not always a good thing. <laughs> um, you know, if you're an entrepreneur and your business starts to grow, you go through what I call growing pain. So I'm going through that at the moment, but luckily I now have a VA. So I picked up a virtual assistant, somebody who's going to be assisting me with some of these new projects. Um, so for all my clients, you guys uh, will get even more love and personal care than you did before which I'm really happy about being able to offer that to all of you. And to my future clients, um, you know, I look forward to having you come on board. I'm also reading a new book. In, in, I believe it's called, don't mark, you know, I get this confused. Um, the Oh, Question-Based Selling is the name of the book. So far, it's really good. It's giving me some good insight onto how to phrase my questions. Uh, when it comes to selling, it talks about the different type of buyers. Um, there's pretty much two, two types, and I'm not gonna butcher it and, and claim to be able to tell you who they are, um, but if you're looking to increase sales for your business, it's definitely a book I recommend. I highly recommend, and I probably will read it over and over again. Another thing that I'm excited about, I just took um, this app, it's called ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is kind of like a squeeze page or a lead page, and I am taking a one month, pretty much master course in ClickFunnels, where I'm diving deep into uh, figuring out how that works. Now, one, I'm doing it, not going to lie, I'm doing it for myself to increase my business, but I'm also doing it because if I become really efficient in ClickFunnels, it's going to be a service that I'm going to offer to my clients at no extra charge to generate money and funds for them. At the end of the day, it's about giving, and I really care about giving to my clients and helping them grow their business. Some other things I'm excited about is uh, the Empowerment Institute, um, which is a institute for knowledge when it comes to business like everything i would say everything you can think of because it's still growing but i'm super happy to be a part of it some of the instructors we have coming on mitchell backus and myself have coming into the forefront it's really amazing to have these guys uh, put together some courses that we think is going to offer a lot of value um, so keep a lookout for the empowerment institute currently working on ps managers website trying to finish that up so Mitch I got you brother I'm trying to uh, definitely hook you up with that other things in news or updates of Diary Entrepreneur the mint company um, that I'm telling you about that I'm working on uh, with my close brother uh, Joshua Morrison we have made some progress I haven't talked about this project much but we've made some progress with mint uh, dealing with our manufacturer we finally got our flavors right a few months ago around New Year's Eve, I was doing a lot of different testing. So with the testing of the mint, we finally got it good. So I'm excited about launching uh, with my partner, Josh, our mint company. Uh, I can't wait to actually get the products. And it was a process, man. You know, it was a lot that went into this. Uh, still some things when it comes to packaging, um, you know, the tins. A lot of this goes into launching a product. So I'm excited. And... Um, Again, this is Diary of the Entrepreneur, so I'm trying to do my best to keep you guys up to date to everything that I have going on. With that being said, just because this is Diary of the Entrepreneur and you happen to watch this, it's not all about me. It is about um, everybody who does watch this, and I'm open. You know, reach out to me, ask me questions, 
I can't help those who don't ask questions, and I don't always know what you don't know. But I can tell you from my business experiences, and you may learn from some of my business experiences from past videos, that I do try to resolve problems I come across, and I do try to help my customers to the utmost. I have learned, and I will continue to tell this to everybody, you don't know what you don't know. And as an entrepreneur myself, I was very stubborn in that manner, and I wasn't fully informed. There's a lot of things I don't know about business. There's a lot of things that I'm still learning about business. But some of the most basic stuff that I would have thought I knew, I really don't. So some advice for you guys is I suggest that you seek out advice. You seek out the answers. Don't be too prideful. Don't waste your time doing it wrong. That doesn't mean you got to waste money doing it right. But try to be informed. Realize what you don't know and try to work more effectively. So this was Diary of an Entrepreneur. I thank you guys for tuning in for the all of the five minutes uh, this is the weekend february uh 15th so i hope everybody had a great valentine's day and enjoy the rest of your day this is dennis you can follow me at one recourse that uh, one recourse.com or on instagram at one recourse tv later